A man says that he was attacked during an argument about motorcycles taking over that popular path. Gary Harting reached out to TMJ4 News through Facebook to share his story. And we want to warn you, the pictures of his bruises are graphic. The altercation happened Saturday along the KK River Trail near Kinnikinick and Maple. The victim tells Mary McCarr he wants those responsible held accountable. Stand at the entrance of the Kinnikinick River Trail and you'll see dozens of bike riders and walkers making their way through the path. Though a sign here clearly states no motor vehicles are allowed. Neighbors tell us they are constantly seeing motorcycles flying through and putting people at risk. It's a risk that turned into violence for Gary Hartung, who lives steps away from the trail's entrance. That was the whole point. I just wanted to get off the bike trail. It's hard not to notice the black and blue bruises covering Gary's face. Here and then the, this lip is, looks bad because I hit the teeth. He says those injuries are a result of a confrontation that escalated quickly. <laughs> He heard a group of six riders and recorded this video of them while telling them to stop traveling on the pedestrian path. I watched them, you know, as much as I could, trying to get plates or faces or anything. And then I walked among them and one guy just punched me. I, I was out, knocked out. Now police are investigating the assault and looking for unknown suspects since many of the motorcyclists didn't have license plates. His wife, Laura, reached out to TMJ4 after his attack to help bring the safety issue to light. I want these people accountable and I also want the community to stay together and to speak up uh, to be safe and to protect each other. As someone who uses the trail daily, she experiences the danger of motor vehicles on the path firsthand. It's just disappointing that we cannot be safe or we cannot do any activities like on a space that is for cyclists and pedestrians. Doctors say Gary's face will take time to heal, but in the meantime, he and Laura are hoping their story will bring these riders to justice and deter others from putting people in harm's way in the future. In Milwaukee, Miriam McCarr, TMJ4 News. Well, so far, no arrests have been made in this case, but if you have any information, Milwaukee police want to hear from you.